Now on to the surprising announcement by Saudi Arabia and Iran, who have agreed to reestablish diplomatic relations after seven years of hostility. The South Korean government has welcomed the agreement, saying it could contribute to peace in the Middle East. Lee Eun Jin reports. On Sunday, the South Korean government welcomed the good news of Saudi Arabia and Iran resuming diplomatic relations. South Korea's foreign minister said that Seoul hopes this agreement will enhance trust between the two countries and alleviate tensions in the region. An agreement brokered by China was signed on Friday by Saudi Arabian National Security Advisor Musaid bin Mohammed Al Ayban and Iran's top security official Ali Shamkhani. After four days of previously undisclosed talks in Beijing, the two Middle Eastern powers agreed to reactivate a 2001 security cooperation accord, as well as another earlier pact on trade, economy and investment. The two countries have long been at odds, with Saudi Arabia as the leading Sunni Muslim power and Iran the leading Shiite Muslim power. While the two have backed opposite sides in proxy wars throughout history, the recent hostility between the two countries has threatened stability and security in the Gulf and has been fueling conflicts in the region. Friday's deal resumes diplomacy between the two countries. Saudi Arabia had cut ties with Iran in 2016 amid a dispute over Riyadh's execution of a Shiite Muslim cleric, with Iran storming the Saudi embassy in Tehran in retaliation. Then in 2019, Saudi Arabia blamed Iran for missile and drone attacks on its oil facilities, as well as attacks on tankers in Gulf waters, charges which Iran has denied. Analysts say Friday's agreement should de-escalate tensions in the region, which includes affirmation of the two countries' respect for the sovereignty of states and the non-interference in internal affairs, with an agreement to reopen embassies in both countries within two months. And for China, their top diplomat Wang Yi highlighted Beijing's role in achieving the successful deal for dialogue and peace, adding that it would continue to play a constructive role in addressing tough global issues. Ian Jin, Arirang News.